Hello Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So some of you might have been in a relationship with this person. It could have been a situationship. For others, it could simply just be that you've exchanged glances and you know there's something special there, but no one's really speaking up. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky, if I didn't announce that already. Also, for those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do channel through my higher intuitive self in order to get the answers that I need. I don't channel through spirit guides. I never have. At the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to provide you with some advice based on these cards. Crossroads. Somebody here needs to make a decision. There's a desire, there's a need, there's a want. Here, we have nourishment, followed by rhythms. Then we have play, surrender, compassion, death and rebirth, opening, responsibility. Then we have crossroads under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Capricorn, the connection I have with you makes me feel completely fulfilled. There's a sense of fulfillment where spiritually, emotionally, physically, I feel that you do fulfill all of my needs. And that no matter what happens, you will always be there for me. There's a sense of nourishment, this everlasting care, the act of giving, selfless. That is how I see you. There are certain things that have happened in this connection that seem to repeat a lot. Patterns come and go. Rhythms don't change. As soon as I think I'm over this and I can move on, boom, you come right back into my life. I do feel that you are like a best friend to me. Someone who is very vibrant, youthful, loving, friendly, mischievous, absolutely brilliant. This friendship that I have with you, it does mean a lot to me. And you don't know, but during times when I have been sad, thinking about you has made me better. I also feel that in this connection, there is a sense of surrender. I have surrendered to you. My mind, my heart, my body, I give that to you freely now, because now I feel that I belong to you and you belong to me. Before, that is not 
how I felt. That is not what I felt. But now there's a sense of compassion, a sense of understanding, this knowingness. I have empathy, sympathy, compassion, sometimes even pity for the things that you have gone through, but the reasons why I have put you through them, that's what haunts me. You were in a better place at some point, and I thought that what we were would make you happier, would make things better, but it turned out not to work that way. Now I see you as someone who was very naive, someone to some degree who was very innocent, but now things have changed. You are no longer that person because I changed you. I have corrupted you. That white veil now is tainted. I also feel that in this connection, back then, the road, the path of this connection, it was very bumpy, very rocky. It was not comfortable at all. However, going forward, I want to have a rebirth of this connection. I want to have a rebirth of where we are headed. A new start, a new beginning, a second chance is what I'm hoping for. With this, what I feel on the inside I do feel like opening up to you and telling you what it is that I feel, how I feel. I'm hoping that if I open up to you, you would understand where I'm coming from. I want to open up and tell you that I want to be more responsible for certain things in our lives. I want to be that person who can take responsibility and even be responsible, take responsibility for the things that have happened in the past, do things the right way. I want to take on those burdens, certain things that other people just can't handle. I want the weight on my shoulders. I want to be able to tackle this. I do feel that in this connection there is this crossroads that I've come across. Right now, I know I have to make a decision. I have to make a choice in order to move forward in this connection. But I do not make a choice. I don't change my ways. The choice is not made the decision is not made, and so I stand still. You may wonder, Capricorn, why? For me, simply, it's because I just want to be very careful what decision I make, because I have doubts. Doubts about myself and doubts about the connection. This is why it's hard for me to be who it is that I'm supposed to be with you. All right. Capricorn. So this person wants a second chance. Wonderful. That's very good. Your person of interest here, yes, there is love, there's affection, but... For some of you, you may notice that there's more of a friendship kind of connection now rather than a passionate, loving connection. Of course, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but you do have the friendship card here. And you don't have any other cards that really talk about this person's personality. But this does talk about the type of connection you have. It is based on a lot of friendship, but this person does want to follow your lead. 
So they have surrendered to you. All right, we have here the Lover's Path Tarot. All right. So this is any particular situation that may have occurred in the past that really made this connection go downhill, something that just didn't work out. And perhaps your person of interest never shared this with you and you've been wondering why did they walk out on you or why did they ghost you? Uh, why did they fade? Why is there a lack of closure? So hopefully this will provide you with a little bit more clarity and some guidance. We have here strength followed by two of cups. Okay. Strength here talks about courage, strength, leadership, and confidence. But these cards I do read in the reverse. So this is what happened back then with this individual. At some point in time, Capricorn, your person of interest had lost courage. They no longer had the strength that they thought they once had. A long time ago, they would have been a leader. Now they do not feel like a leader. They've lost their confidence. They were feeling insecure and even fearful. The energy that they had was being scattered, meaning they were not able to focus on one thing. They were also creating discord to weaken others. So they knew if I'm not strong and if I don't have strength, I'm not gonna allow this person to walk all over me. So I'm not going to, or rather I'm going to put them down. I'm going to bring them down. So instead of climbing up, what is it called? A bucket of crabs? Is that what it's called? Where one crab tries to get out, but then another crab grabs it and it puts it back in the bucket with its claw. Um, I don't know what they're called, snappers? Uh, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Red crabs in a blue bucket. One of them is going out and then another one's grabbing it and putting it back in. So if you're in the same situation, then this person wants to be in that. If they don't want, or rather they didn't want to be in a different situation because it would make them feel awkward and uncomfortable. Here we have a situation though, where there was this excuse being found to argue and fight about something else that was unrelated to the topic itself. Sometimes people do this to create discord, meaning to ruin the type of peace and harmony one may have during a certain stage, during a certain topic. Something changed, something was made different, and therefore the topic was now shifted and it changed. So this person, they tried to divert the attention. They would talk about a topic and what I'm seeing here is that they would try to change the topic because they were not strong enough to handle it and they wanted to change it so that they don't feel uncomfortable. Here we also have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. All right. With the Two of Cups, it talks about lost harmony. Remember, I'm reading the reverse. Lost harmony, lost partnerships, and a lack of love. There used to be a sense of enchantment, but there is no more. Here, this was an attraction that could have become something more important in terms of a relationship or even a love relationship. In the reverse, it talks about infatuation, overindulging in sensuality for the sake of the emotional high. Yikes. So there was a whole lot of infatuation here. And this person did not have the type of courage to move beyond the physical into the emotional. That's what happened here. So this person did not have the strength or the courage to turn and transform this relationship into more of a committed relationship. The relationship that you have or had, for some of you, it might be very physical. <clears throat> As it mentions here, the word infatuation for the sake of that emotional high. So yes, 
Somebody here was definitely very much infatuated. But it got to the point where it was toxic for both parties. That's a problem. Did not turn out exactly as they had thought. But they thought, you know what? At least I have something. Something's better than nothing. But the thing is, you're not, you're not just a something, right? You're a person. And if this person is desiring you or lusting after you, you also want and you would think that you would have an emotional aspect to it. But this card indicates that there was a lack of emotion in there. So whoever, Capricorn, you are dealing with or you were dealing with, it's important to think twice now. So we have here the Beginner's Tarot. And I'll be looking into any actions, any plans, any intentions that this individual may have towards you currently. Magician is a really good card. Provided the other cards are as promising. Yes, yes. So the Magician card is good because you have the Ace of Cups. Otherwise, Magician can be a trickster. You have the Page of Wands. Ten of Wands, then you have Ace of Pentacles. Not bad at all. Very nice cards. You just have a little bit of struggle here with the Ten of Wands. So with the Magician card, this does talk about how this individual, by hook or by crook, no matter what happens, they really want to win your favor, your affection. How are they going to do this? By providing you everything it is that you may need trying to prove themselves, trying to show, look, I can get you this and I can get you that. I can get you everything you need. This is what this person wants to show you that they can provide. But they're only doing this with the intention and it's a true intention. This is a good intention. You have two aces here, right? Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. So the intention is to work towards you, to let you know that they can offer you things some of you might not want this offer anymore. You've had enough, right? And that's okay. But others of you that still are hoping and waiting, this person really does have this way of wanting to reach out, wanting to talk and communicate, but they're working on it first. Eventually, I do see this person reaching out in various ways. You have here the intention, which is the Ace of Cups. They actually are going to, as well, reach out to you, talk to you. There's going to be the sense of forgiveness and even this offer of love, which is really amazing. Plus, it may come through the Page of Wands. This is a page. This is not a king. You don't have any kings here. This is someone who is very young, youthful, vibrant, either in years or just the way they behave. Um, it's someone who could also be younger than an than the other individual in this connection. But what I see is somebody who's shy. They're not very blunt. They're not very bold. The only reason why, it's because this is a page of wands. So are they going to reach out to you? Definitely. Here with the page of wands, it definitely talks about some type of a connection between yourself, you and this person. And this connection is all about communication. They will communicate with you on some level. But, we have a but here, we have the Ten of Wands. Now that one is a bit complicated because it talks a lot about, it talks like, it says this, okay? I really want you Capricorn, but I have so many things on my plate. I've bitten off more than I can chew. I am so overwhelmed with so many things that I cannot dedicate any time to anything regarding this connection. And therefore, I want to settle down and get rid of some of these other responsibilities that I have so that I can finally, finally reach out to you and be with you the way I'd like to. This, Capricorn, is what this person's feeling because of all of these these stabs. They are completely overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. Even if they wanted to have you in their life, they know they won't be able to 
dedicate that much time, energy, and effort to you. We also have here the Ace of Pentacles. With the Ace of Pentacles, this individual is going to make a solid offer. They will be offering you um, a commitment. This is commitment. It's a solid offer. Even something tangible in terms of maybe let's move in together. Let's invest in something together. Something like that. But I do see that it's a matter of settling. Settling down. Having something that's a bit more solid in one's life. All right. So do I see any action? Definitely. For sure. We have here the Ace of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's going to be some good things coming through. These are also more of intentions, but that's definitely an action card here. Page of Wands means this person is going to reach out to you at some point. Oops. All right, just going to do a quick prayer. Okay. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. We have here helpful people, followed by listen to your intuition. Followed by the strategy card, let go. Why? Because somebody here needs to recover. Not good. This means that somebody has been suffering to some degree with health issues. We also have here no. It fell in a very peculiar way. Clarify the no. Perfect timing. No. There will be success. Okay. The timing is not going to be when exactly you thought it would be. It's going to be a little different. Interesting. So, we have here helpful people. So in this situation, we have individuals that you may know who will be helpful to you for the issues regarding the issues that you're going through. So it is important to talk to some people. This could be a family friend. It could literally be a therapist, counselor, doctor. It could be somebody. Um, somebody that you trust. Helpful people. Somebody's going to give you some type of help that you didn't even realize that you needed. Here we also have listen to your intuition. So after people help you, there will be a time when you're going to be in a situation where you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision. And here, with this guidance that somebody else or others have given to you, you will be able to make that decision by listening to your intuition. We also have here let go. Letting go talks about let go of the thought of this person. Let's not dwell over them to the point where we are loving them so much that we're constantly obsessing over them. Let's not do that. Letting go here doesn't mean that you stop loving them. You can't stop loving them. It's not an on-off switch. But do stop communicating with them. Stop texting them. Stop writing to them. Stop stalking them. It happens. But the moment you let go, that's the same moment they will realize that you have and they'll realize and see this distance. They'll feel the distance and they will miss it. They will miss your company. That's typically when people start to come back into your life, but it's only going to happen if you keep that distance. Here we also have recovery. So many of you may have gone through um, a few things in relation to this connection. It's very stressful, draining. You may be recovering from something now, which is great. It's good to recover. That's great. We also have here perfect timing that we have no. 
So some of you may have had plans of certain things happening at a certain time. Here, it does talk about, no, this will not happen in the time that you think it's right. It'll happen when it happens. But when it does happen, Capricorn, there will be success. We also have here, take action. There's going to be success, and you will intuitively be able to feel it, to sense it. And the angels here, Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, they are saying that it's, it is important for you to take action. Because you will be able to. You can and you should. We also have the overall arching theme, compromise. Compromise here, it realizes that you both are on different platforms right now. You have to meet in the middle so that everything can be equalized. So your person of interest, they adjust a little bit. They change their ways of beliefs. So do you. They accommodate you, you accommodate them. You finally meet in the middle. But this connection in particular, Capricorn, is only going to work if there is a compromise. I wanted to mention for some of you, for the recovery card, I do have the Holy Light package as well as the Water Wellness package, which is on my website. That's www.asnointia.com. That will definitely help um, with any type of negative energies that you may have in your home, around your aura, inside of your body, which is your chakra centers. So do have a look at that as well. Along with that, also I have a new one, which is the water wellness package that, that those two make a, a pretty good combo. All right. Here we have it, folks. So I do see compromise. This is the overall arching theme. It is possible, Capricorn, that things are going to work out, which is what the cards did say before. However, it's important not just to keep this to yourself. Start talking to other people. Start understanding what it is that you can compromise. What it is that you shouldn't. Are there certain beliefs that you just can't change? It is important to talk to others, but also know if you're talking to them, do they have your best interest at heart, right? Are they actually the type of people you really can trust? That's the whole thing. Trust is a big deal. And that's your reading, Capricorn. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who are interested in any type of guidance in regards to relationships and even knowing more about spiritual connections, on my other channel, Asnointia Audio, which is my other YouTube channel, I do have uh, a few videos now on relationships as well as the spiritual connections that we have. So some of you may find those interesting. Um, I am sharing that information based on all of the information that I receive from my clients, my subscribers, everything that I read that comes from you guys. So those are literally directly from you guys, especially the relationship related videos. And because I'm a channeler, I can see exactly what the other person's feeling. It just makes it so much easier for me because then I can tell you how the other person feels during a situation like that, typically. All right. And that's your reading Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys again. Take care. Bye now.